Hi everyone, my name is Simon and today, or well, tonight actually, I'm showing you a new rendering teardown. So, uh, as you can see, this time I'm dealing with uh, six images instead of one, so, well, it doesn't matter for this time because it's still interesting to uh, see like a, a complete series of images. So, well, as you can see, like the renderings are really, really nice. They're like nicely detailed and lit. There's like lighting is really interesting and the overall um, series is really, really good, so there's not much to say, just a couple of uh, tips I'd like to give regarding um, first, like, one thing you need to do when you're dealing with a, a series of image is to actually do like this sort of um, mosaic like that, because that way you can see, uh, like, try to get more consistency between all your images. And as you can see, when you have, like, six of them next to each other, there'll be like, uh, when there's something kind of off, you'll see it directly. Or like what you can see here is that this image, for example, lacks contrast, because if, if I put this in black and white, you can see that this is always like, have nice contrast, whereas this one is kind of kind of left alone there with a, like no contrast at all. So I would sort of change that a little. Um, that and so that way you can see it sort of fits some more into the rest of the series. Um, I think um, there's something kind of weird with the whole series there and it's something that happens quite a bit and that I don't really understand is when you have like basically when you're selling a place and you want to show that you have like this huge window and it's getting like a lot of natural light why do you want to put spotlights that because it's it's something a little bit um, odd or at least counterintuitive so I would and well the problem I have as well with that is that these spotlights creates really weird shadows that we really don't need because as you can see we see it everywhere for this chair especially like here it's like really sharp shadows and the thing is you actually don't even understand it comes from these spots because there are no there are no actual light coming out of them so you don't understand there's actual artificial lighting going on so that's something you want to be aware of if you're using artificial light be really careful as to when you use it because if you have natural lighting just try to avoid it and if you use it just show properly that there's like some sort of a uh, light coming out of it so that would change quite a bit basically what I would say is to like you can see it here we have like the spotlight um, halo and um, here as well and it's it's definitely not adding anything to the image or to the lighting it's actually sort of a uh, like decreasing the uh, quality of the natural lighting. The only part I would sort of keep it is here because it's in the in the entrance, I guess, or uh, yeah, in, in the entrance. So that sort of makes sense to have something because it's it's a little bit darker here, but still, and it's it's kind of nice to have this sort of uh, cast shadows. But here, like this sort of shadow, you want to avoid definitely. Um, Beside that, I think it's there's not much to say. Like all the saturations are kind of kind of good here. You can see, but it makes sense that the saturations are higher here. But it's because we have artificial light coming out of these guys. Whereas also, as I said earlier, we don't <coughs> get the feel that they're actually uh, switched on. So you would need to maybe brighten this up so that you understand that these guys are switched on. And that way it sort of brightens and oversaturates this part, which does make sense in terms of like physically speaking. Although this this part is a little bit too saturated, uh, the rest is okay. And in terms of colors, there are like a palette of like greens, um, oranges, and blues, and it's it's more than enough. It has like some really interesting use, so it's it's good. A couple of stuff I'd say is that maybe these spots. Uh, are actually a little bit out of scale. They look a little bit too big to me, especially when you look at this uh, view here.
because it's sort of um, yeah I'm not sure they look too big a couple of things regarding uh, this image and like the overall I think it's it's a good way to do all your close-ups in this sort of uh, like with an angle and uh, maybe depth of field is not always necessary but it's uh, it's a good way to practice but it's really good to use like frontal views when you do like a general rendering of the uh, the space although I have to admit here uh, like I guess the idea is to keep the same ratio everywhere but still I think it's a little bit too empty here and we have like maybe a little bit too much of the of the um, ceiling sorry so I would suggest maybe cropping this to something like that because we don't need we don't need that much and that way we can refocus the 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 image on this window which is basically like the best view ever although <laughs> there's some something that is kind of bothering my architect's point of view is that there's some kind of safety issue here when you have like a sliding door and you're at maybe the 80th level and there's no balustrade but still looks pretty cool so yeah beside that I guess it's uh, it's a really nice uh, series of images and I I think there's not much to do to make them really awesome so so that's it I hope uh, it was really helpful to have some insights on like really keep in mind this what I said about artificial lighting in a natural environment because it's something you kind of want to avoid and uh, yeah if you have any comments just feel free to drop by and uh, say anything you have on your mind thanks guys